So this video, we're going to look at for loops, for loops, okay? So let me clear our switch statement for the previous ones we write. Good. So here we are actually looking at what? For loops, okay? For loops, okay. So someone will ask, why, why do we have to use for loops in our program? For loops are used when you actually know the number of iteration you want to perform in your code so if if the programmer knows the number of what knows the number of what the number of iteration iteration you need to perform So this is uh, basically knowing what you're doing at the beginning of writing your code. So how does this structure look like? Very simple. So for for loop syntax, for loop syntax is uh, very, very easy. And uh, we start with the keyword for. And uh, with that, we're going to have conditions here. And with the condition, we have what we call the initializer. The initializer means it's starting the code, initializer. Hmm. And then we have the condition. So we have our initializer first, and then we have the condition, okay? Uh, condition, and then we have the increment or the decrement. So here, we can have the incrementer or increment and then we can have what the decrement here okay so just like this and then here we do not terminate this side but we have uh, the open and closing curly bracket then here what goes here here is your output your output goes here your output or codes goes here so this is the structure of a simple for loop yeah so first we have the initializer we're gonna learn that very soon what is an initializer we're gonna see it soon the condition will be here the increment or the decrement will be here in and at this side okay so let me quickly comment this once and then let me comment this and then let's begin with an example of a for loop so an example of a for loop let's say example example of for loop of for loop so we normally use a for loop when we already know the number of iterations in our code okay good because we have other loops we'll be looking at as well okay so example of four loops for example let's say we want to count numbers from 1 to 10 anytime we run our code so let's use our four keyword here so four then we have our initializer as i stated here initializer is a simple the the data type and then a variable so i here is a variable we can use a lot like we can use a we can use e whatever we can use count whatever but uh, for simplicity sake let's use the i i is equal to one this is the what the initializer initialize is simply is simply like a variable right so here simply like a variable so we have a return type of int with the variable name i is equal to or assigned to number one. Okay, so this is where the conditions go. The condition is the one we use to check our program. Good. So we have i, let's say i, when i is uh, less or equal to 10. Okay, when i is less or equal to 10 then we now have our increment increment means plus 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 or add add decrement means minus 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 okay so so what we have to do here is uh, probably 
uh, come up with the i the i plus plus is the what is the increment and then we're gonna have our print statement so inside our curly braces let us print out i okay so we're gonna print out i and see what happens on the console okay so let me run this so let's see what happens here okay so per our condition we know the number of iteration we want to print to our user that is 10 here and then if i is less or equal to 10 then increment it one so we have one one plus one two two plus one three three plus one four just like that so this is the iteration we actually want to show to our users so this is an example what if here another one what if we want to look at uh, another example by only displaying only displaying uh, even numbers to our users okay even numbers to our users okay to users let me to users okay so to display that how are we gonna do that this is very simple from 1 to 10 if we want to display even numbers we need to use an if statement to to add an extra layer of condition in order to only display uh, what our even number so we use we employ if here and we say if i if i is divisible by 2 then it should be equal to what zero so anytime is divisible by two and uh, the remainder is zero then uh, you need to print that on the screen so we use our if statement to add an extra layer of condition to our what our loop okay so i save this and then i print on the screen okay so uh now we have this displaying because we are checking only even numbers 2, 3, 6, 8, and then 10. Perfect. So this is how we can, you know, add extra layer of conditions to our for loop. All right. So what if we want to display some list of strings that we can use the loop that we normally term it as the for in for in loop for in loop okay and for this we can use what we call a list a list variable so we use the list and then probably we want to display a list of cars right so i call car list car list and a car list will be assigned to a bunch of strings so these strings can be any kind of strings but since we are using car let it depict uh, the name of a variable so we have let's say we have one one car here we will say this is what uh, Benz sorry and then we will have another car here another car this is uh, let's say Bentley okay let's say we have another car here Bentley and then we have uh, we have the Lamborghini And then uh, probably we also have one, two, three. So let's add extra one. Let's say we have uh, we have uh, the Toyota. Okay, good. So we have list of cars in here. I need to end this statement. Okay, good. And then let's use the for loop to display all this bunch of strings that we have here. So to do that, we start with the for keyword and then our word. Our condition will come here, but here we start with the return type that is the string, and then uh, we have uh, 
we have a parameter that is going to help us fetch and install the list inside and then display to us. So we say car in car list. Car in car list. And then uh, we now display this over here. Okay. So car in car list. We say print when car in car list print print our car or this will be much more better cars okay print cars on the screen so this is our forward for in a loop for in loop the value of the local variable colors isn't used or oh, is there a mistake here yes there's a mistake here that's why i said it's not being used so car list so we have a uh, this list that has a list of bunch of cars Benz, bentley lamborghini lamborghini and a toyota then we use the four to check that so four and our condition is string cars this is a holder placeholder for this and inside this car list so enter into this and then fetch all the strings in this and then display to the user that is the print cars perfect so this is actually the end of our for loop and i say how why do we use for loop we use for loop when you know what when you know the number of iterations you're gonna perform in your code and then we have the initializer the condition the increment or decrement and then uh, we also have uh, the four and we can add extra layer using the if statement and other conditions and then we can also have the four in loop peace we are out if you have any comment kindly write it below and then we're gonna get back to you immediately